Welcome YouTube. The video you're about to see is a reaction video. It is a video of opinion. Nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos. My volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Now you may notice that I'm doing certain things with my hands. I am not making any secret hand signs or gestures. When one is doing public speaking, there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You can fold them, maybe put them on your hips, dangling lifelessly at your sides, put them in your pockets, hold them like this, whatever it is. I'm not making any type of signaling gestures, unless I do this, which means shaka. Keep in mind the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video are for educational purposes only, entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Thanks and enjoy. In this grammar audit uh, reaction video, I'm going to take a look at some of the, I guess you'd call them quantum grammar or correct sentence structure groups that are available on Facebook. And this first one is of particular interest uh, because if you look at the top here, it says, for the cause of the concern is with the possessive of the concern, with the possessive of the concern, with the possessive by the authority. The word concern comes directly from myself. I'm the one who developed that and put that out there in the public. It used to be consequence uh, that David Wood Miller taught, but uh, discussions with my tutor, Foucault and Raven, uh, we decided that the word concern is more all-encompassing and gives a better closure as to what the function of the positional of actually is. Now, anyone who's using that, it, they came from here, is what I'm trying to say. And I'm not trying to, like, uh, take all, you know, credit and things like that. What I'm doing is I'm assessing where this individual's grammar knowledge came, grammar knowledge came from. Now, I don't know who this is or created this website. I do see that they're using all lowercase for some reason, which is, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it as long as you're consistent with it. So let's look about at uh, what it says here. For the terms and conditions. Ooh, they have a, first of all, their numbers are not positioned correctly. Uh, if a number is a fact, Facts must be positioned with position lodial phrases. If a number is not a fact, then of course it would not be positioned as a fact. So as it stands, every one of these numbers is not a fact because it has not been given a positional lodial phrase to position it correctly. So that's one big error I see here. And also I see that they're using a hyphen after the zero, which actually that would be a dash or a period or something, but it wouldn't be a hyphen because hyphens in correct sentence structure only connect compound facts. That's, it's one function, one and one is one. All right, it can't be used for two functions. It's one function. So we have for this author and moderator's knowledge of the facts is with the consent of the members with the geometric level plane field, geometric level plane, and field of this vessel and con oh and they hyphenate contract so whoever this is kudos to them for watching my videos and i'm glad that someone can get this level of closure because this sentence structure is actually very good it's very very good it's actually quite a pleasure to read it and also if you see this right here the the brackets giving the plain english translation that definitely comes from my curriculum. So whoever this is, I wonder if it's one of my students. Because this is like the template that I set out, except for uh, the, 
the void positioning of the numbers and the incorrect use of the hyphen. What is author's knowledge of the facts with the claim of the member consent with the maintenance of rule one? Oh, look how they spell one and equal. That's so awesome. It's, it's cool for me to come upon something like this that I didn't even know about. And I see that someone is actually studying those over 500 videos I have on my channel. And they're following and using correct sentence structure. Because, ladies and gentlemen, this is probably the first time this has ever happened to me where I've come out of nowhere on someone using actual correct sentence structure on the internet. And again, you know, except for the not positioning, the void positioning of the numbers, with the honor and the grace, I can definitely overlook that mis that error in the context of this scenario because their correct sentence structure is, is actually pretty beautiful by my eyes here. Wow. They're very uh, consistent with their casing of the letters. Oh, they even sick the particles of negation when they use them in their facts. Nice. Okay, author's monitor known as the facts of claim of the member consent with the maintenance of the grace with the ease of the communication. Uh, member consent with the performance of the bracket box four corners. Oh, uh oh. There's an error. Vowel in front of a consonant in italics. Um, oh, hold on. No, that's not a mistake because wait, wait. Yeah, they put that in brackets. Okay. Well done. Well done. This is awesome. Who wrote this? I need to know. Oh, this guy. Sudor Gan, founder of Universal Alliance. Uh, when? Created 10 years ago. Hmm. I remember, I think I was a member, I think this group was called something else back then, but I think I was a member of this group because this guy was a moderator in the group I was in in 2017, 2018 or so. And uh, I remember him being very courteous and uh, open-minded, and he was dealing with a lot of uh, very volatile personalities. And so vol volatile, as a matter of fact, I left the group because it was just a ridiculous bunch of arguing back and forth of who's right and who's wrong and blah, blah, blah. You know, the, all the different factions. If it's, you know, the Mark, Sean, Chris, Mark Lower Case K, Sean Christopher people were fighting with the RJG people were fighting with the DWM people were fighting with the the little small fried grievous blue thumb club people. Purple Thumb community, all the different people were coming together in sort of a battle royale. But this guy, if I remember correctly, was very neutral about the whole thing. And I see that he's come through probably in, in huge part to that neutrality. And I can see that he's definitely learned from my channel. And... I have never, I don't think I've ever had a consultation with the guy. I don't think, uh, we've never certainly done a workshop, but this is a great example of what you can learn throughout your own self-study. And so, well done, Sid, you know, well done. Hopefully, uh, uh, just that small thing, Sid, uh, remember to position your numbers correctly. Because again, if a fact is a fact, it must be positioned by positioned loadial phrases. If it's not a fact, then there's modification involved. So you just got to put that colon in front of the tilde, and then your one, and then a dash space, and then you can move on with whatever you're going to convey. Just a small little little uh, fix. So again, well done, Sid. Thumbs up. Here's another group from Australia, and right away I'm looking here, and I see a semicolon. <laughs> That's got to be a typo. I mean, seriously, folks, it's got to be a typo. So this goes back to 2022, Great Australian Party. Uh, it was a Great Australian Party. Well, I hope everybody had a great time. You know, parties are, are fun, definitely, you know. 
party and love the party. Let's see. Colon spaced. Uh oh. Here we go with the incorrect grammar of the RJG cult. Colon space twilight hyphen zone of the twilight hyphen zone, which is not correct because every correct sentence structure must start with a cause, which is for the, which would mean the colon would have to be tied up against the T. Uh, how Trump and Kennedy tried to change the country. Trump and Kennedy wanted to modify the country. Change is modification. Modification is perjury. That's no good. Okay, I don't see any correct sentence structure at all on this page. And the <laughs> the semicolon should have been the tip-off and the red flag there. Thumbs down for this one. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like. And I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the Subscribe button. Hit the Like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.